Hello, my name is DJ Fresh Fluke. As a small Christmas present, I show you how I grid my hip hop tracks in Tractor. And I'm using for that um, free tracks from Swiss Beats from his um, Monster Mondays. And um, uh, to start off first, I rooted the audio so that the headphone channel is what we are hearing loud in uh, order to hear the take. We'll come to that later. So what I'm doing is I'm starting the track and I'm looking for a downbeat first. Okay, this is, a, this is like a, a one. So I drag the waveform somewhere near there. The snap is on and I click on Q and it jumps to the snaps to the um, to the transient. I observe if, if that is really a downbeat and I would say yes. So I click on this button and um, create a grid marker. This grid marker creates these vertical lines equally spaced um, which display the tempo. So these lines should snap on, on quarter notes and you can see this visually that this is lining up so we could hear and see this lines up like really with a beat I turn on the tick which gives out the tick um, in to the tempo that we have here interesting part here is to see that it still is a little bit off here uh, in this part but this doesn't matter at all because the beat is kicking in um, so Tractor did a very good job here on, on the tempo and we can proceed in the track we should have at least three points where we observe if the tempo and uh, the grip is um, in line. Especially after breaks you have to watch carefully because sometimes the beat does not kick in uh, with a uh, uh, like in tempo. This looks all awesome. So another break, but yeah. So this was really like easy. We can watch at the end. Perfect. So this track uh, seems to be analyzed very well by Tractor, and we confirm the tempo by clicking on the lock icon. Now you can see that all buttons of the grid panel are grayed out and disabled so this way you cannot accidentally change the tempo. I show you some, some other functions of the grid panel so I have to unlock, unlock it. Uh, first of all we have here the shrink and expand grid buttons. If I click on uh, the expand grid buttons, the tempo lowers and the grid gets um, expanded. If you click on it with the right mouse button, it goes in bigger steps. This is easy. And uh, you can even drag the tempo up and down here, click, hold and drag. Um, yeah, obviously this is like shrinking the grid in the smaller and bigger steps depending on the left or right mouse click. Now we go back to the to, to the original grid marker which sits here. You can move that too with these buttons. Move it to the right. Also again with in bigger steps with the right mouse button. Same thing in the other direction. I can delete my, my grid marker by clicking on the trash button. Poof, there it was. And I can reset everything I done with the reset button, this resets to um, Tractor's detector tempo, which was pretty good. So we're back there where we were. 
I take another beat to demonstrate another button. This one. Take off for it. Okay, this is number 120 beats per minute. So again, we start with the obvious one, which it is. I set a grid marker and I see, I can already see this can't be right, what tractor detected here. So what I'm doing now is I'm using the tap button. I click on the tap button and tap, and tap the tempo. In. As you can see, this looks much better. Usually this works very well, so I proceed the the track. Okay, all good here. You can see the lines are dead on the beat. Put on the tick. And it ticks with the beat, so this is pretty cool. Just for the optics, I do it. Uh, I put the value to something uh, easier and lock the track. So the tempo cannot be overridden accidentally, for example. Um, An uh, interesting preference is the preferences file management. There you have the option BPM detection range. Choose something which reflects your um, your tracks, um, but never double the value. So I've chosen here 70 to 139 to picture really wide range. But if you're playing, for example, only like 90s golden era hip hop, you can you can shrink that range to really like something in between 80 and 110 or something. I deactivate the set beat grid when detecting BPM option because that usually does not work and so you end up clicking the delete button because the uh, automated beat grid, um, grid marker wasn't set right. So you're better off and way faster doing that by yourself. Um, yes, as you can see the tempo detection of Tractor has gone gotten very well. You With hip-hop tracks it's a little bit more difficult to get because of all the vocals you have a little bit to like read your waveform but if you once grid it like I don't know the first 50 or 100 tracks you will do that in a breeze and that uh, tractor helps you through it as well. If you have questions feel free to ask and everything. I'll be there for you. DJ Fresh Fluke, happy spinning, happy Christmas, happy holidays. Bye bye.